Hey, what's going on, Boneheads? It's Skullhead here, and today we've got a hot video fresh off the press, and that is about some major dark ether story line information that has been sprinkled into, I'm guessing, Outbreak, but it is season two, and it has to involve not only Maxis, but we could be seeing the beginning. I'm not even going to say we could be because this is 100%, I think, planting the seeds for the return of the one and only Edward Richthofen. And just, oh my god, Treyarch is just, Craig's writing this year has been just phenomenal. Phenomenal to hear, see what else they could do outside of regular ether and the way it's tying back to the original ether storyline is just so good they're really 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 starting to like nail it in my opinion whenever it comes to the fact that they they from the very beginning were planting the seeds of sam still being broken still being a damaged soul and we are now starting to really see that come to fruition with uh, all the different intel on Firebase Z. Her being thrown into the Dark Aether has just accelerated that process. And now it seems like we are also getting a lot of clarification on what was happening with Sam sort of in the old Aether storyline too, because she talks about how all these monsters she's been seeing, all these different beings, I guess, from the Dark Aether are something that she can't distinguish between. And that partially spoils the intel, but not very much. And we're just going to read the intel for you. And it is from the exact same diary, it sounds like from the original Ether storyline where she wrote had wrote, written about how Eddie hated, hated to share her toys his toys with her and just there's, there's a lot of good stuff that's going on right now sometimes I find it hard to sleep even though I look forward to it when I dream I see faces faces of people I care about and faces of people that don't care for me. Sometimes it's hard to distinguish between the two, but one face stands out from all the others. The face of a boy. A child. He is lost. Damaged. I want to help him, but I somehow feel, I feel that he is dangerous. Dreams are unreliable witnesses, as to am I. Sometimes I find it hard to sleep. this um intel there's a lot to break down there's a lot to talk about whenever it comes to sam and the faces is talking about this seeing the faces that she cares about but doesn't know if, but also sees the faces of people that don't care for her and how it's hard to dis distinguish the two it's really interesting to hear all these like visions that she's having now the dark ether has really changed her and just if you look back at my firebase C intel video there is one radio where she talks about seeing all these different monsters that she had told herself were not real from whenever she was a kid and it seems like the memories of primus ultimus anything to do with the old story and what she saw inside the ether she's convinced herself that she has not seen these things they are not real they have never existed but now it seems like i think she's really starting to make those connections of fuck this shit is real and it really seems like the boy 
is going to be Richthofen. And it almost sounds like they're touching a little bit on the tag ending and the fact that Richthofen seems to be have left in the Dark Aether, never made his way out of the portal, never made his way to a new life, leaving him damaged and a lost soul. Which would mean that even though Sam looks at him with happiness or as this pure soul, he's going to look back at her and not see the same thing at all. And we don't know if he's trapped in the dark ether. We don't know if he's in the actual real world. But I do truly think that Edward, Eddie, is going to be our main villain. Is going to be somebody who comes out and really, really change the stakes of the story. And who knows, maybe he will become the... Fulfill his dream of what he f had originally wanted in Black Ops 2 and just take over the zombies. Imagine that if S Sam and uh, Rick Toffin mix or uh, change places in this story, where Sam is the one that is chasing down Rick Toffin, whereas Rick Toffin was chasing down Sam. And then Maxis ends up flipping soul. <laughs> just replay Moon all over again. Just opposite ways. Um, but I. I am truly excited for this story. This story is really heating up and it seems like they're making a lot of connections. I think we're going to, as this story unravels, we're going to get touched on what happened in that tagged or totem ending and really are going to start to unravel these pieces of what is coming back from the old story and is what is going to be new. I think this Dark Ether story is really starting to heat up and Maxis is already a tormented soul. She's been also tormented literally by Peck in the last map, and she just laughed at him like like a tormented soul would do. And it just really seems like Sam has changed a lot since Firebase Z, and this story is just starting to get its wheels going. I'm really starting to appreciate how slow they built it up from D Machina because now we're getting some juicy intel. Outbreak, I think, is just spiraling this into more. And I think next month we'll probably get a new zombies map too in April. And I think what's, once we get more intro, intel. And I truly think because it is rumored to be Berlin as our next map. Berlin is huge for the zombie st story originally and the original ether story. So I would not be surprised if we see Richthofen in DLC 2. We all know it's here. I don't think they are going to save it for DLC 4. I think planting the seeds like this has really, really shown that it's now time to start really unraveling this story and I'm excited. I'm excited. I needed to make this video. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all want to hear more story theory videos from me. Let me know. This is something that I've been waiting for. It's just these big, big pieces that are starting to come out. I hope you all have a great day and I will. See you in the next video.